Thank you. So I don't lose my place. Right, so that's the first reading, which is Kings. Yeah, and, and I'm then doing this John, is John, chapter 12, 16 to 23. Is it 16 to 23? I don't know what it is now. Yeah, it's John chapter 12, 23 to 26. Well, that's convenient. It's this one that's all in red. That's lovely. And I've only got to go up to there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Jesus, so I go, and Jesus replied, the honour has. Do I read, do I read John chapter 12?
very special occasion, our planned Sunday service. Lovely to welcome those from our final community. Uh, Good morning. Well to the service yeah. Yeah. It's lovely to see them. And of course we have our plough. Thank you to Brian and his team for uh, sorting that out for us. We're very grateful. Thank you. And um, as you know, we've taken part in the service each year. It's lovely to see them. The and of course, we have um, we've, we've done it today because we've got to Brian and his team for and they're uh, used to that out for us. Yes, they're they're very grateful. So they thank you. Um, so as you know, we've, um, we've turned the, the church, temperature down house. in the church. So, so we've turned um, to page we'll three today because we've got our service books. And, and they're used to, well, they're tough. Uh, yes, we'll they're tough. So they can cope with a bit of, we've created the outside feel inside the church, if that helps. So we turn to page three of our service books and Rob. Uh, we'll speak on behalf of the farming community. All we come as representatives so of the parish farming community to offer our work to Heaven the service of God. We, we claim the field in the name of the one who made and sustains all things. So we take our hymn books as we sing that familiar hymn, Heaven 275. We plow the fields and scatter. Standing, we turn to page three of the our service books and we begin to praise oh God. I uh, continue to praise you God by uh, singing a very good, saying a version of Psalm 104. Praise the Lord, and as well as my soul. 
You are a little more of your chariot. You are a very the wings of the wind. You are a very great splendor and majesty. Flows us in light amidst wither garments. You spring towards your chariot. You ride on the wings of the hills. You make wings with messengers. You flows us fast with the ministers. You make springs to cultivate the valleys, to bring the flow between the hills, to be a drink to every human heart. You cause grass to grow for the cattle, and to stress for the human to cultivate, to bring forth off the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down, and wine to grab in the human heart. It becomes oil to make the very shining, and bread to strengthen the human heart. The moon marks off the seasons, and, they steal and the sun the knows when we to go down. Lie down in the you nights. bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest come to the evening out. time. How many the sun arises, and they steal in away. Ways. They return and lie Lord. down in I their beds. I will praise to my God. Then people go to their work, as I live. to their labor, and so to the evening pray. time. O oh, Creator God, who works through our hands and our minds as we strive to renew the face of the earth and bring your kingdom, help us to feel reverence for the power you give us and to love the small part of your creation which you have entrusted to each of us. Amen. So if you'd like to sit or kneel, and I'll invite Le Louise to come out. Um, sorry? Uh, yeah, Louise to come out and lead the confession as leader one. to each of us. Amen. So if you'd like to sit or kneel, and I'll invite Le Louise to come out. Um, sorry? Uh, yeah, Louise to come out and lead the confession as leader one. When we are ungrateful for the rain, sun and frost, and forget they are God's gift. When we are blind to the mystery of germination, forget it is God's hand. When we are ungrateful, oh God, for forgive us. Sun and frost. When we are careless are with our beasts, and forget they are God's creatures. O oh God, forgive us. When we are blind, to when we the are unkind to those who work with us, and God's forget hand. they are God's children. O oh God, oh forgive us. Forgive us. When we are careless, when we are with careless our beasts, about our and work, forget they are and forget we are God's co-workers. O oh God, forgive us. Oh when God, we are unkind to those who when we ill treat us, the and land, forget they are God's and children, we are God's oh stewards. God, forgive us. When we oh are God, careless about us. our work and forget we are God's co-workers. God the Father, forgive oh God, our misusing of us. His creation. When we ill treat work. the land God, the and forget we are God's his stewards. Crops, the sufferings of our land, our oh animals, God, forgive us. our families, and ourselves. God the Holy God, Spirit, the Father, give us the forgive and our misusing of, of His troubles, creative work. Weaknesses and God the Son, take upon God, His cross the, the sufferings of our land, our, our, our animals, sins. our families, Amen. and ourselves. God the Holy Spirit, so give us the strength and power to overcome our troubles, weaknesses, and temptations. And Jesse May will bring God the Holy us. Trinity, forgive us all our sins. Amen. So we have our first reading. So Elijah went there and Jesse May from will there bring that to and, us. and found Elisha, son of Shaphat. He was plowing with, several, with twelve yoke of oxen, and he himself was driving the twelfth pair. Elijah so went up Elijah went him there and threw his cloak there around him. And and Elisha then left his son of Shepat, and ran after he was Elijah. With seven, Let with me kiss my father in law goodbye, he and said, and was and then driving the twelfth pair. Elijah back, went up Elijah replied, to him and threw his cloak around, around him. Elisha so, then left his Elisha oxen and, left and ran him after Elijah. Back. Let he me took kiss my father in law goodbye, he said, and then I will come with you. Go back. Elijah replied, what and have I done to you? The people, so, Elijah set out him for and went Elijah, back. He and took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them. This is the word of the Lord. He burned the plowman equipment to, to, to cook the meat and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he set out to f follow Elijah Thank and become the servant. So this is the word of the Lord. Praise, praise, oh, praise our God and King. Hymns of adoration sing. Thank you. 
Thank you. Lovely, beautifully read. So we now sing our next hymn, hymn 273. Praise, oh, praise our God and King. Hymns of Adoration Sing. So as we remain standing, we come an opportunity to offer our thanksgiving for all that God has given to us. Page five of our service books. The keenness of a winter's frost and our breath steaming. Come from God. God. every good and perfect. The hum of the tractor, the rich soil, the smell of the fresh turned earth. Come from God. The beauty of the clean cut furrow. The keenness of a winter's frost. The wealth of our breath steaming. Come from God. From God. Blessed be God. The hum of the tractor. The clean And praise by all his work from God. The beauty of the clean cut furrow. Once we're we're now going to have the sweep of the second field. reading. Come and from God. God will bring that to us. As if God in all his gifts. And praise by all his works. If you'd like to be seated, we're now going to have our second reading. And Jill will bring that to us this morning. Very truly I tell you, unless a person of wheel falls on the ground, Jesus died. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be judged. Very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat 
keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servants also will be. My Father will honour the one who serves me. Thanks be to God. We'll keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servants also will be. My Father will honour the one who serves me. Thanks be to God. Thank you. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather this plan Sunday, we do thank you for the work of our farming community, and we thank you for the lessons that they bring to us. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather this plan Sunday, we do thank you for the work of our farming communities. And we'll thank you on a for the lessons road that one they morning. bring to us. And when the man got out to, to fix help us, as a we cow follow came you. along and stopped beside him. In Jesus' name. Your trouble is probably in the fuel injection, said the A cow. man's car stalled on a country road one morning. The man jumps back and the man got the out to fix it. it. The a cow farmer. came along the and stopped beside him. him. His story. Your trouble is probably is in the fuel red injection cow with a brown cow. spot over the right eye. Startled, the man yes, jumped yes, back and ran down the road cry. until he met oh, the farmer. I the amazed man the told farmer. him his she story. doesn't know a thing about cars. Was it a large red cow with a brown spot now, over know, the right eye? Cars, the farmer. Must be in yes, yes. The man realised that compared to some, oh, I wouldn't listen to Bessie. Said the farmer. She doesn't know a thing about cars. So what are we going to know a little this, about this cars, morning. but this being oh, plowed Sunday, I realise that compared to some, I'm a bit like Bessie, this, and oh, I don't know a thing about plows or well, we could say that what we're doing is because this is an So what are we here for this, uh, this, this morning? This is something that has been done in this church, a more specific question, is for what is the point of blessing this But our plow sitting here in church is a plow that is no say that what we're doing is because this is an ancient tradition. we have mechanised farms. This is something that has been done in tractors. this church and other and rural churches for many years. Bring their tractor and plow outside but our church plow sitting morning. here in church is a plow but that is that's no longer used. Will not be Nowadays we have mechanised farming, plows are pulled in by fact, tractors. There are very few rural uh, communities that they can they offer to bring their tractor and plow outside church this morning. For a of reasons. But not only and that, I think many of us here why these will not be turning our hands to a plow. As human in fact, there are very few rural communities that gather on this Sunday and bless their plough we can for a whole the variety of reasons and everything that is in it. And I think one of the reasons why these traditions have that fallen we away is because we are, the as human beings, think we, we know we should be how doing to do things. Is remembering we think we can where subdue we the world and everything the that is in it. From what we remember and apply but that doesn't them to mean we are that now. we should forget the past. And isn't that what we do? What we Every should time be doing you set is remembering you remember how far we've been in previous years, learning the lessons from what we remember, where the land was heavy, to where we are now. The memories and experiences from the past. past. Every time you, you set up a furrow, job. you remember how a field ploughed in previous years, where it held water, where it was stony, where the land was heavy, etc. Uh, it reminds me of a collection the memories of scenes and experiences from, from the past. past people reflecting on the lessons they had learned over in the years. The These are just a couple. nothing profound uh, in this. Some I couldn't use we'll this all morning. Do it. One of the things that reminds me of a collection of saints from elderly people reflecting and on the lessons they would learned it. over the years. These are just a My couple wild oats at some I couldn't use prunes this morning. And all One of the things that I, that I heard was I started out with nothing and now my body's falling apart. And I've still got most of it. The Bible encourages us my to wild oats and turn to prunes and all in Isaiah, the prophet encourages the people got my of head together to remember and now my the body's rock falling apart from which you were hewn. Remember the, the Bible rock from encourages which you were hewn. us to remember and, remember to remember and learn God from the past. Has guided. In so Isaiah, and the prophet encourages the people of Israel to remember and that the reminder of the from which and you were hewn. Of God remember the rock from which you were hewn. And he goes on to remind them of how service. God has guided. Supported and through loved times throughout and their history. The land has been and that reminder and of the goodness and faithfulness of God is a key feature of this 
and have every been kept plough, the service. crops have been grown. We and celebrate that through good times fed. and bad, the land has been and farmed, and God's like that promise in Genesis that there will always be seed times, time and harvest we should be looking for have been kept. And with this in mind, Jesus has been uh, tells his disciples, and people have no been person fed. who puts their hand to the plough and, and as we're encouraged back, to look back and see what we can fit. learn from the past, the there are times in the kingdom of God. when we should be looking forward. The great temptation with this in mind, Jesus uh, says to tells his disciples, especially when we are facing difficulties and hands challenges, to the and to remember and looks a back safer, less fit stressful time for service in the kingdom of How God. How many of us escape in our minds the great to a temptation time in life gone by is to look back. And Especially when we are facing like difficulties and, and challenges, and pressure. to remember a safer and eventually less we can allow stressful time to be put into practice. How many of us escape in our minds to a time of the accelerator, and we fail to do seem what more idyllic needs to and be done. life less pressured? It's interesting to note that eventually we can allow this dream to be put into practice. To God's call and to we, as it were, take our foot off he the accelerator. His oxen and we fail to do what the wood of his needs to be done. And offer the oxen it's interesting as a to note from our first God. reading what Elisha did in response to God's call to serve as a prophet. He killed there was his no plowing point in him oxen looking back, and used the wood of his plow to burn only. and offer the oxen and as, as a sacrifice to keep to God. on the path before us. No Effectively, he could never go back to plowing. Has provided there was no point in him us. looking back. Interestingly, when Jesus used only. a farmer as an illustration, and the were encouraged to well keep on the path the before us, no looking to back, fulfill a task. and walk the path that Christ has provided. A farmer cannot just turn over in the morning, before us. especially Interestingly, when weather, Jesus used a farmer as an illustration, care. he was well aware of the Farmers commitment required to fulfill a task. For beast a and farmer lung, cannot just and they turn over in the morning, as a picture especially of the commitment that weather, Christians need to show to all the animals in, in his the way care. that they follow Christ. Farmers in their no commitment back, care for beast and lung when Life and they serve we need to as a picture of the commitment that Christians and need to show to live work in, ministry in the way that they follow Christ. And hope for no the future. Turning back. I heard the following story of an old farmer who was about tough, to die we need and called to his two sons forward. to his bedside and said, My family, our work in ministry the fields are yours and hope for the future. I heard I the following story of an old money, farmer who was about to die of my and called his two sons to his bedside and said, ground, My boys, not more than my farm and the fields are the yours in equal shares. That I've forgotten precisely I leave you a little ready money. But the old man was dead and buried, his two is sons set to work to dig in the ground, every inch of not ground more than 18 the inches treasure. from the surface. They failed to find it, but I had gone to all the trouble of turning over the soil. They thought, and when the old man was dead and buried, his two sons set to work to dig up every inch of ground to find as soon as the buried treasure. They, they failed the to treasure. find it. Again, but as they'd gone uh, to all the trouble of turning over results. the soil, they thought, and as the fields were turned turn over more which they thoroughly did. than any others in the neighborhood, they reaped the harvest. As soon, soon as they had an opportunity, they dug year for the treasure year, again, uh, but with no better results. Eventually, and as the fields were turned over more thoroughly than any others in the neighborhood, they reaped better harvest than meant anyone else. Real year after year because of the hard work continued and sewing. Eventually, only when they had grown much older and wiser and effort that did they realize what their what father had truly meant. important. Real treasure and obedience comes to Christ because of the hard we find work of life's riches and sowing the land. It's when we wholeheartedly seek it God is often in our we work find and what effort is worth that we discover finding. what is truly Jesus important. Said, but seek and in first obedience his to Christ, kingdom, we find and his life's righteousness. riches. And it's when we wholeheartedly seek God, will be given we will to find you as what well. is worth finding. Amen. Jesus said, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. So I'm going to invite Alec to come out and lead us in our prayers of intercession.
We're on page six of our service books. Page six. Let us pray so to God. So we want to invite Alec to come out. Who has given us the goodness for our delight. Of and entrusted it to our care and tenderness. Six of for our all those who live in captivity to death and whose lives are cramped by fear. From which there is no turning God, except creator. through a bundle of has harvest. given us the earth's goodness us, for our delight. Pray, may and entrusted it to our care and tenderness. Yeah. For all those who live in captivity to debt. For and whose lives are cramped by the fear. For their daily from food which there is no turning. And whose forests are destroyed for the benefit of a few. Let us, let, let me pray. May, may those who sow in tears. Read. For those who, for all who depend on the earth for their daily food and fuels. And whose forests are destroyed for the profit of a few. And long Lord for a harvest of justice. Lord, we pray. Who sow in tears. Lord, we pray. Read. May those who sow in tears. Read. For those who labour in poverty. Are oppressed by all those captive to greed and prevented from speaking the truth, whose harvest joy and is for a harvest of justice with things that Lord they do we not pray. May those Lord who sow in tears, may those who sow in tears, for all who are captive to greed and waste and boredom, whose harvest joy is choked with things that they do not need. Lord, we pray, may those who sow in tears. Save us from all that holds us captive, restore our vision, that our tongue may be filled with laughter, and our tongue with songs of joy. And so we take our hymn books as we turn to hymn 262, O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder we stand to sing. So we take our hymn books as we turn to hymn 262. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder we stand to sing.
So anybody that's connected so with so farming, farming we'll seated. Seated. So yeah. at this stage, if I could and invite and three uh, members of the farming community so uh, to come and join the, uh, uh, around the plough. Uh, as we come to the blessing lovely. of the plough. Okay. So you anybody that's connected with farming, there. please that's come it. out now. Do come out. As I get the three representatives just to stand there so Nobody's they can being be heard shy, for the uh, reading. Okay. Can anybody keep heads? Jill, you'd like to go around there. Okay. That's lovely. <laughs> okay. You'd like to go okay, around lovely. There. together there. That's good. Do come out. Nobody's being shy, are they? Okay. We can have anybody keep heads? Leader. <laughs> okay, that's lovely. Page seven. Page seven. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. first leader. The plough is the foundation of our work yeah, and the symbol of our labour. For the soil to be broken Page after seven. the seed sown, we must first plough the fields. For the green oh, coin to grow and ripe grain to be reaped. The plough is the food. foundation of our work and the symbol of our labour. For the bread to be baked For and the, the soul people to be fed, broken up we must the first sown, the we fields. must first plough the fields. For prosperity For the green to come corn to, to our grow farms and ripe grain to be we reaped, first plough the fields. we must first plough the fields. So we bring this plough and ask for God's blessing upon it and upon all the work done on our farms. God speed the plough, the plough and the ploughman, the farm and the farmer. God speed the plough, the beam and the mould board, the slade and the side cap, the shear and the coulters. God speed the plough, in fair weather and foul, in rain and wind, in frost and sunshine. God, God speed, speed the, the plough. Plow. So if you'd like just to come around the side, we're going to we'll just come along there. Okay, that would be In great. rain and wind, in frost and sunshine. God, God speed, speed the plough. So I invite the congregation to stand at this stage. So if you'd like just to come around the side, we're going to we'll just come along there. Okay, that would be great. Let us pray. O oh God, who gives each of us work to do so for your stage. congregation to stand, we ask your blessing on this plough. A symbol of all that enable us to do our work upon the land. We ask you to prosper throughout the year the work done by our local farms. May the farmer's hopes be fulfilled in a plentiful harvest. May your people be fed with wholesome food. May town and country, united in gratitude to you, be drawn nearer to the understanding and true service of each other. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God bless you in winter and summer, as you are ploughing, you are sowing and you are reaping. May God give you sunshine and rain in due season. And may God, who gladdens the face of the earth, give you joyfulness of heart. And may God, who has called you to work on the land, set your affections upon himself. And may the blessing of the Trinity, three persons and one God, remain with you and those you love forever. Set your affections Amen. upon himself. And may the blessing of the Trinity, three persons and one God, remain with you and those you love forever. Amen. Amen. If people like to be seated. Thank you. So just before we sing our closing hymn, uh, just really... Uh, not too many notices today. Uh, just, uh, if you've got the notice uh, sent to you, please make sure that you uh, read people that. like to be seated. Uh, just to say, we don't so just before we sing the service, our but if you closing like hymn. If you'd like uh, to, just really, the yeah, end, there is a, a not too many notices today. Uh, uh, or so if you've 
got the notice on, on uh, sent to you, please make sure uh, that you read that. Would like. uh, just and to say, we don't take a collection of during the service, but if you would like to make a few like to, uh, and at the, the end there is a, a, a I think we container to, to put the on the end, or there is oozing through uh, our non our uh, as Julie comes out, can I just say again, if you would a big like. thank you to our I'm going to invite uh, one of the team to come forward and explain what's going to be happening with the with the food. I'm delighted that you're with us in church and that we can pray for you, but oozing through. As Julie comes out, can I just say again a big thank you to our farming community, not for just being with us this morning and bringing the clouds, God sends. I think I'm delighted you're with us in church and that we can pray for you. But a big thank you for all that you do throughout. Thank you. Uh, uh, the uh, often unnoticed. Uh, we are uh, supplying a lunch hard, after all the service. Hours. Um, the lunch won't be until 12 o'clock because true. you've got to wait for the uh, potatoes to cook. It's Sorry. To see you. Um, <coughs> every also, in this it's um, basically thank soup, you. jacket potatoes with lots uh, of We are supplying a lunch and after the cake. service. Um, and the lunch um, won't be until 12 o'clock because we've got to wait for the potatoes to cook. Sorry. Um, also, like stay, it's um, well, basically soup, soup jacket potatoes stay. with lots of um, different fillings and really? cake. Oh, and there's um, so water, okay. and okay. I think we'll probably do some tea and coffee so if anyone wants so it. Like to, uh, um, if you would like to stay, you're very welcome, but I understand some of you can't stay. Just enjoy the time together. And there seems to be plenty, so we're okay. We've come to the end of our service now. So please do stay behind if you'd like to. Closing to him, to six minutes with us, so Thou please uh, stay behind you. Uh, we stand to see. Just enjoy your time six, together seven. Uh, uh, over a meal. So we've come towards the end of our service now. We're going to start to sing our closing hymn, hymn 267, Thou whose almighty word. We stand to sing 267.